Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to give you an update on a mega project that the National Water Commission has on the way. Now the National Water Commission has set up a 44 megawatt floating solar system that's going to generate billions of dollars in savings for the company. So what the company is doing is they set up this floating solar system in one of the dams and basically it generates solar energy which the water commission can use to power its systems and it can also sell the excess energy to JPS. Now the water commission is the largest customer of the Jamaica Public Service because you know they have plants all over Jamaica power, power, um, power not pumping stations you name it Water Commission has a lot of properties around the island so we're going to go through an article to gi that gives more information on this the National Water Commission is in the final stages of the license, licensing process for the sale of energy from the Mona Reservoir floating solar project to the Jamaica Public Service Company. Minister Without Portfolio in the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation, Honorable Matthew Samudo, gave the update during the University of Technology, Technology Jamaica Water Symposium held under the theme Sustainable Water Management and Innovation. Senator Samuda said the 44 megawatt floating solar system is expected to generate billions in savings for the National Water Commission, which he noted is the JPS's single largest customer. That process is in the final stages of getting its licenses for, from the Office of Utility Regulation, OUR. It's wheeling license to facilitate sale of energy to JPS. The pilot phase of that project is over, so expect a 100-acre solar farm at Mona, he said. Wheeling is a transmission of electric energy measured in megawatt hours from within an electrical grid to an electrical load outside the grid's boundaries. Minister Samura reiterated the government's dedication to implementing strategic projects that will generate clean energy which is resilient and climate adaptive. Certainly you have to do your studies, your land use studies, environmental impact assessments, your social studies to see what the impact will be for systems that could generate power he noted. Derelon Energy Jamaica Limited is partnering with the Aton Group and REIL Energy Investments Limited to execute the Mona Reservoir floating solar project. The pilot phase was officially launched by Prime Minister Dr. The Most Honorable Andrew Holness in September 2022. Meanwhile, Minister Stamuda affirmed the government's commitment to global environment sustainability and protection of Jamaica water sources. Alright guys, so that's the end of the update article. So, let us know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below. Alright guys, have a good day.